What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new slime video for you and I'm super excited because we are going to try and get on the Instagram Explore page today, okay? I'm gonna be testing out some really cool Instagram slime trends that have been going around that I see all over the Explore page. I haven't had a viral video yet on Instagram, not bitter about it, just saying. So let's see if we can go ahead and get one today. If you're excited for the video, don't forget to give it a big slimy thumbs up for me. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Here are the unicorn fam shout outs for today. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you all so much thank you for having notifications turned on thank you for being one of the first ones here and thank you for being awesome if you would like your comment shouted out in one of my videos don't forget to go ahead and comment down below using hashtag unicorn fam and make sure you're subscribed this video right here is actually part of a collab as well with my friends Abraham and Jam Jam so I'm really excited they're doing some really cool slime videos for you as well so make sure you check out their links they're listed down in the description box below after you watch this video go watch them and subscribe to their channel okay I am super excited to get into this video so let's get started shall we Alrighty, so first up we are going to do the clay ball mixing. This is super, super fun and I've seen this all over Instagram. So you're going to need some clear slime to start off with. I didn't have any regular slime that was just totally clear already and I didn't want to use a foggy slime. So we're just going to have to sacrifice a mini detox water for this. This is a slime that I normally have in my restock. So if you like this, check out my shop, just saying. Um, and yeah, so we're also going to need some soft clay here. This is not Daiso. I think it's like Honey Toys soft clay or something like that that is on Amazon you can go ahead and check that out I'm just taking a uh, different colors of this and I'm going to roll them into little tiny balls and we're going to top our slime with it and it's gonna look super cool this does not have to be perfect but if there's like any cracks that you just don't like you can just go over with your finger and kind of smooth it out this is super soft clay so you should be able to get a good shape out of it and once you have a couple of those completed you could go ahead and just top it off just make sure you don't kind of touch them together I made that mistake and it was kind of hard to pull them apart without like ruining the shape so I kind of had to do a couple of them over but you know it's all good so we're gonna go ahead and take our clear slime as you can see this is super super clear it's been sitting for about a week maybe a week and a half and I just love it so much and we're just gonna go ahead and top the clear slime with these clay balls and then it's just gonna look really cool This was honestly the most satisfying video that I probably have ever filmed and I loved it so much. I already put it on Instagram so you might have seen it if you already follow me on Instagram but it did not make it to the explore page. I'm a little salty. Come at me bro. Now this next one I wasn't too sure what to call it. We're mixing a foam sheet with Daiso into a slime and yeah so I got this idea from Snoop Slimes she actually posted one recently and so I was like you know what that is genius Snoop Slime is a god so we're gonna go ahead and recreate that so you're going to need some clear slime to make the little foam ball sheet basically uh, it was just like a little like 
block of foam beads basically so i'm just dipping that into some foam beads i chose to do the color green i'm kind of going for like a kiwi kind of vibe so brown base lime green beads and then also some black glitters just to kind of represent the little flecks that are in the kiwi the little seeds you know so i'm basically using all of the foam beads and i'm pressing them into this slime here we just want to basically compact it till it's basically like a sheet of foam beads Now for the base of the slime, I'm actually using just a regular thick and glossy white slime. However, you can use a clear slime like Snoop does. I just didn't have any clear slime pre-made, so I couldn't do that, but it's all good. So I just went ahead and topped that off with some brown Daiso clay. Also threw on that foam bead sheet, and then we put some black glitters, and bam, there you have it. The end result of this slime was actually really, really nice. It was very thick and creamy, and those foam beads gave it some amazing texture. I actually threw in some watermelon kiwi scent for this, and it actually smells really good. Might throw it in the shop. Who knows? Next, we're going to go ahead and do a racket pen slime pressing that's inspired from my boy Oscar from Slime Glitters. Love him. Shout out to him. Anyways, um, the racket pen. If you don't know what a racket pen is, it's basically just a pen that you can write with that looks kind of like a racket, like a tennis racket. Um, I broke mine, so I don't even use it as a pen. I just use it for slime pressing, which I've actually never done until today, and I'm actually obsessed, so I keep doing it, and it's just so much fun. So I'm just taking a regular four-ounce slime, and I'm going to press it into there and see what we get. Hopefully, we get some good crunches. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely expected more like bubble pops from this. However, I really enjoyed seeing the slime poke through the little holes in the racket pin. That was satisfying to me. And the last trend that we are going to try, I don't really have a name for it, I'm just gonna call it the aesthetic kind of trend i don't know it's usually like when people put like certain objects to make it look really pretty like on top of a regular white based slime or sometimes they'll even like draw like really cool shapes or like a really cool pattern on the slime and it just looks really nice when they mix it together so i was like hey i'm gonna use these rhinestones that i actually got in a slime package and let's put them to use the only thing was it was a little bit different and difficult for me to get the rhinestones on because they were actually stickers. Like, it was sticky on the other side and they weren't, like, sticking to the slime. It was kind of a hot mess, but I think the ending result was actually very pretty.
Now, I definitely think that this one out of all four of these was a fail. The other three, I could definitely see like being viral worthy, but this one here, I just, I don't. But just because I don't like it doesn't mean you don't like it, you know? So it's good, you know? Alrighty, well that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Help your boy out and give it a big slimy thumbs up for me. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn if you want to see my face again or if you want to see me make some slime again, you know, just subscribe. Don't forget to go ahead and check out Jam Jam and Abraham's video down in the description box below. Let them know that I sent you and yeah, thanks for watching. I love you all very freaking much and I will see you all next time. Bye! Hand in hand we run, hiding from the sun.